subscapers and welcome to the Nomads Requiem quest guide. The requirements are King's Ransom, Knight Waves Training Ground, Soul Wars Tutorial, which I am doing on the video, 75 Magic, 70 Prayer, 66 Mining, 65 Hunter, 60 Construction, 76 Constitution is recommended. Just make sure you have at least 7.5 thousand life points because of a boss attack that deals that amount of damage and 75 combat skills are recommended. The items first of all be on the standard prayer book, combat equipment, prefer magic but if you are using any other combat style you still have to bring the following magic gear. Remember ammo and runes so any magic weapon so you can cast fire spells which means air runes and fire runes. Bring good food and 6 free inventory spaces and the recommendations are combat stat boosting potions, super restores or prayer potions, beast of burden or panip, an archaeology journal for switching prayers at the start and the enemies to defeat are level 98 and level 699 boss. Let's go! To start off, use the Archaeology Journal's teleport and we are switching from curses to regular prayers. So head north and slightly northeast to the winch. Operate it. Head south and pray at the altar. Option 1. Make sure you have a piety from Knight Babes Training Grounds mini quest. To start the quest, teleport with the Amulet of Glory to Edgeville. Head south and through the Soul Wars portal. Talk to Zimberfish. Talk to Nomad, option 1, twice. We will need to do the Soul Wars tutorial before we can do the quest. If you have this done, you can skip ahead by using the chapters on the video. You can't have any items or equipment equipped for the tutorial, so save your bank preset and deposit everything to the bank for now. Talk to Nomad, to your north. Go north, to the arrow. Talk to Nomad. Head east. Talk to Nomad. Attack Simperfis. Take the soul fragment from the ground. Talk to Nomad. Head east. Talk to Nomad. Attack Simperfis.
Talk to Nomad. Use the soul fragment to the soul obelisk. Talk to Nomad. Talk to Nomad. Talk to Nomad. Exit via the portal. Talk to Nomad, option 1. This will complete the Soul Wars tutorial. Load your questing preset. Talk to Simperfis and accept the quest. Investigate the tent. Talk to Nomad, option 2. Go up the ladder. Talk to Simper Fish, option 1. Investigate the tent. Go west and enter the southwestern doorway. Climb up the southeastern ladder. Pull the north lever. Climb up the northeastern ladder. Push the statues on top of the drains. The second one is to your south. Northeast corner, climb down the ladder. Make sure the water is flowing through the southern channel. 
If it's not, operate the levers until the water will start flowing. Southeast, climb down the ladder. This is a puzzle. Do the following. Center west statue, push it to east. Northwest statue, push it to south. North center statue, push it to west. North east statue, push it to the west. Center east statue, push it to the north. South East Statue, push it to the north. South Center Statue, push it to the east. Center Center Statue, push it to the south. North Center Statue, push it to the south. North East Statue, push it to the west. Center East Statue, push it to the north. Southeast statue, push it to the north. South center statue, push it to the east. Southwest statue, push it to the east. Center West Statue, push it to the south. Northwest Statue, push it to the south. North Center Statue, push it to the west. North East Statue, push it to the west. Center East Statue, push it to the north. South East Statue, push it to the north. Climb up the southeastern ladder. Mine the rubble on the eastern wall. 
pull this out lever until you see water flowing through the tunnel. Southeast, climb down the ladder. North, enter the tunnel. Southeast, enter the doorway. West of this room, there should be a waterfall flowing. If it's only dripping, you need to head back to the levers and operate them correctly, like in the video. Northeast, take elemental fuel from the fuel hopper. Take six for the next method. Head to the exact spot on the video. Drop the elemental fuel and wait for the elemental until it is close to the first elemental fuel that you dropped. After that, drop an elemental fuel to the waterfall like on the video. And the elemental will successfully follow both of the fuels to the waterfall. If you drop both of the elemental fuels too fast, the elemental will head straight to the waterfall, which means you need to take more elemental fuel and be more careful next time. Anyways, we need to do this three times in total successfully. Go north and exit through the tunnel. Go north and enter the arcane doorway. Enter the western doorway. Go west, attempt to destroy the road surrounding the strange device. After that, follow the wine path to south, destroy any vines along the way and at the very end.
After that, you repeat the same thing for the north path. Go back to the strange device, it is time to kill the decaying avatar. Basically you need to destroy the roots when they appear at the corners of the room and deal damage to the boss until it dies. My footage isn't perfect for this fight, but you want to protect from melee when switching sides and safe spot as close to the enemy as possible. First use the safe spot on the east side and there will be a vine spawning to the northwest. Destroy the root when it appears and the reason why we are on the opposite side is because the boss walks slowly. Second safe spot is on the west side and the root will spawn southeast. If you fail to do this, the boss will recharge all the way to the 100% health. And the last safe spot is on the west side and destroy the root appearing northeast. If you failed, like me, you just need to finish off the boss, because there will be no more roots spawning. Exit the room through the eastern doorway.
at the Eastern Doorway. Talk to the nearby knight. Before entering the room, turn on Piety Prayer. That will avoid you from constant damage and stat reduction. Enter the room with Piety on. Pick up five stone slabs from the rubble around the room. And make sure you are able to cast a fire magic spell. So in that case, drink up some super restore to restore your stats if needed. After you have five stone slabs, head to the center and start placing the slabs to make a bridge. Use the slabs one by one and jump to them. Put on your fire magic spell, head east and ignite the barrels. Head west and use the same bridge. Go back through the western door. It's time for a boss fight. If you're ready, head to the inner southern wall and go through the northern wall's doorway. Option 1. Talk to Nomad, select any chat options until the fight begins. If Nomad says face me, hide behind a pillar immediately to avoid 7.5k damage. If you see bombs spawning, walk directly south because they don't spawn over there. If you see clones, the real Nomad is always the one which attacks you the last. Attack that one. When you see this ends now message, Nomad will start rapidly attacking you. That's the sign to push your DPS and finish him off as quickly as possible. Good luck.
attack to Simperface. Option 1. Any option. Congratulations. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next one.